What's going on, comic book country? It's uh, Jimmy C. It's been about two weeks. Uh, I was away for uh, work. I had to go to Vegas for a week. So uh, I had some fun. You know, you got to work hard, but you play hard. But anyway, I still got some stuff going on. Got a um, couple of eBay purchases. Uh, uh, some dabblings with my friends from across the country. And then I got a, I got a haul from going to a dealer's house. So, uh, let me kick it off with this. I got this on eBay. It was like seven, uh, six fifty. Uh, you know, I'm a sucker for a blank cover because when I go to the shows, I like to get, uh, you know, drawings done by, you know, certain artists. So, Guardians of the Galaxy, Near Mint, six fifty. I'm all in. Uh, what next? I got this on eBay. So, you know, if you, if you, you know, eBay is eBay, but like if you look hard enough, you can find some good stuff, especially if you haggle and there's our best offers. So like I came across this one dealer, really good guy, like he sent the stuff right away and he was open to like doing business because I gave him multiple offers on things and he was playing ball. So I got this. I had it raw, but like I got rid of it. So it's the, it's Amazing Spider-Man 611. CGC, yeah, nothing ever stays up. It's the Scotty Young, uh, Scotty Young cover Spider Man. It's a nine point eight. It's CGC. He gave this to me for forty five bucks ballpark. So, but not not just because not that alone. So I grabbed this also in conjunction, the Ghosted variant number one nine point eight. It's the Image Expo exclusive. These stuff, this stuff doesn't stay, so. And then to round it out, I didn't think I was going to get it, but I threw, him a, I threw him an offer, and he took it, which made me thought, oh, I could have threw him a lower, bowl, a lower offer. I got this to round it out. X-Factor, First Apocalypse, 9.6. Yeah, there it is, 9.6. He had it up for, like, two and change, and I offered him 125 after, like, I paid about 80 bucks for those other two books, and he took it right away. So, like, I was happy, but you know me, like, Jimmy C. I'm like, fuck, I should have offered him a 100. But, you know, like, you know, like, it's a fine line, like, between offering a fair price that someone might take, and then, like, just going just a little bit too low, and they're like, you know, F that guy, and, like, they just cut ties at you. But anyway, you know what? First Apocalypse 9.6 for 125. This book is going to blow up once the movie comes out. People don't know. And, like, you know what? I got a near mint copy, so I'm, I'm good to go. So I'm happy. This guy, A-OK -okay in my book. He's good to go. You know why? Because, like, he's rational. Like, he sees somebody's making multiple offers, and he's like, all right, let me do business. He's, he's a smart businessman. He's not, like, scoffing at an offer. He sees, like, the eye on the prize and whatever. Anyway, um... I'm excited about this. So when I was in Vegas, I met my good. I have a really good friend. He lives in. He lives in. Uh, he lives in Hollywood now, in Southern California, with uh, where a lot of you guys live. And he was always into comics, but I kind of got him hooked on him again for his. Uh, initially, it was for his son. His, my, his name is Greg, but now he's like full blown like an addict. So what did he do? I had a bunch of books I had to bring to him. So like I had to haul it over cross country. What did he do? He grabbed this. And I had a bunch of comics to sell to him. So, like, we brokered a trade. You know, I knocked a few dollars off what I was going to give him. And he gave me this. Because, like, I'm not into the Star Wars hoopla. But there are certain books that are, like, you know, really hard to get. This is the variant that, like, it's only, the, it's, uh, only one in each store. And if the store does, like, a party or something or, or like, a Star Wars launch. So... My friend's name is Greg. Shout out to Greg, man. He's down in L.A. But just to let you, like, the Southern Cabal know, because I know you, Omega, Lightning, Spidey, a bunch of you guys live down there. I don't know if this is your store, like, but, you know, I know you went to each store to see, but uh, what did I get? House of Secrets. He snatched this from House of Secrets, and now it's in Jimmy C's hands. So if any of you frequent House of Secrets... You better go yell at that guy, because Jimmy C. East Coast boy, 
took your friggin' only variant from that store. So holla. But uh, you know, enough of the East Coast West Coast ribbing. You know what else? Like when I was in, I was in Vegas and I caught something on like Facebook or whatever. I got an alert. The Star Wars Alex Ross variant. Uh, he was selling it at, at on his website. It was a twenty dollar book normally, and he was selling it for like two days for half price for ten bucks. So I grabbed three of them. I didn't even unwrap it, but this is the variant he was selling. So I got three of them, ten bucks each, five dollars shipping. So thirty five bucks for three of them. If you wanted it signed, that's another story. But f that shit. I'm not paying another thirty forty bucks. But anyway, that's the. So, this is uh, Jimmy C's Star Wars Hurrah. I'm not getting into the hype. I don't believe in that mass market hype nonsense. You know what? If I see gold, I'll strike. I'm like a viper. I strike where I can. So, I grabbed two key books at a good price. But other than that, I'm not buying all the nonsense. Anyway, let's keep it moving. Okay, so... Uh I've told you guys, like, you know, I, I made good friends with, like, a dealer at one of the, you know, the North Jersey. His name is Georgie. So, like, on you on uh, on eBay, he's GV Comics 13 I'm giving him a shameless plug. But anyway, he's a good guy. And um, this is actually a dealer I introduced him to at the show, and they made a deal thanks to me. So I was the middleman who, ne who never gets any love, the middleman. But anyway, long story short... We went to this guy's house. He lives in downtown Brooklyn. I bought a bunch of stuff from him. I got the General Zod and the Hulk from him, if you you watched my last show. And uh, Georgie made a deal with him for, you know, a Spider-Man 300 and this and that. Anyway, yeah, yeah, long story short, we went to his house because he has so much stuff, like, left to him from his uncle. He's a dealer. Don't get me wrong. He knows what he's doing. But, like, he got a lot of stuff left to him from his uncle. So I grabbed this stuff, and we'll start... We'll start right now. So, I'll start lightly. I got Bone 12, 13, 14. You know, come to think of it, I thought they were the original, but now they're all different colors, reds. Either way, I got them for a cheap price. But I'm not into Bone, but if anyone is interested, I don't know. I thought the red cover is the original first print, but I guess these aren't really red. But anyway, whatever. See when you have an epiphany while you're making a video? Anyway... I got this also. I've been looking for this forever because I'm going to I'm gonna be one of those guys and I'm going to get it signed and signature series. I'm going to get as mo many autographs as I can. And, you know, don't mind the prices because I didn't pay the price that's listed. I got the Jimmy C price. But you know what? I'm going to do something different and not say it. But anyway, I did all right and I got this. It's not, it's not near mint. There's a little dent over there which kills me because I know it's never going to be a 9.8. But anyhow... You know, I got that. I got these two books. I got a second appearance of Hobgoblin. It This book is 9.8 near mint. And then I got Forever People. It's yellowed. The corners and everything are sharp. There's no ticks. It's just yellowed, which sucks. So, anyway, e e even if I paid full price, fr pretty freaking good deal, which I didn't, but, you know. It's like, it's like the tissue roll pop. The world may never know. And then I saw this. Blam. This, like, I didn't even argue with him on the price. I just said, oh, I'll pay it. Like, oh, I never see this book. So I was so excited to get it, especially with all the Star Wars hoopla coming up. And I just never see this book in the wild. So I'm just so happy to get it. So, like, you know, screw it. I'm just going to give him what he wants. I'll tell you this book. Granted, I spent a lot of money with this guy. And we were at the end of the day. And, like, he saw I kept looking at this book. So, like, Spidey 200. He only had $10 on it, which is underpriced. And we were at an odd number. And he rounded it up. So I basically paid 2 bucks for this book. So this is a good guy. Like, But, you know, he's not, he's not like a pushover. He doesn't give away books. But, like... I spent a lot of money with him, like today, yesterday, and when I was at the and I was at the when I was at the show, I spent a good chunk of change with him. So, hey, you know, he gave me this book for two bucks. So, like, you know, that's nice. You know, you you know, you throw somebody a friggin' bone once in a while. Anyway, you know, I'm happy to have it. Picked up, picked up my uh, third copy of this. 
I'm stocking up. Like, I don't know why. I'm just, you know, like, certain characters I just get into. Like, Evolutionary and Baron Zemo. Like, I got, now I got three copies of each. And this is a really high-grade copy. He gave me a really good deal on this. I got two, like, mid-grade copies. But this is, this is getting up there. This is about a 7.5, 8.0. So I'm happy. You know, his also, his first appearance is also Avengers number six. I forget, I think it was Omega. And then he said they came out on the same day and I actually checked and he's right. But anyway, you know, I think he's going to be in the next Captain America movie. So like start loading up on these if you can get them at a good price. And speak of the devil, he had it. So I grabbed it. Didn't pay 30. The bag and boards effed up. But you know what? Nice copy of high, first appearance of High Revolutionary. Followed by, uh, he had a first MODOK. Don't mind the prices, you know. When you buy in bulk, you know you always get a deal. I just got to rebag and board this stuff. But another another first MODOK I have. Okay, so now we're going to get into the heavy hitters. Got these two books from this guy. He has so many books from his uncle. He is the Silver Age DC friggin' champ. Like... I have to step my game up, like House of Mystery and Strange Adventures and like Superboy and like he has so many old books in this range, but I don't, I just don't know enough. He probably has monster gems and I don't even know, but I pick what I can. So I grab the first appearance of, first Silver Age appearance of the spect, uh, uh, the Spectre, and I got. Uh, I got Superboy number 78, or Origin of Mr. Mistleplick, and Origin of Superboy con uh, costume, as it says right there. It's got a, it's got a, it's got a sub crease right there. And the Spectre, you know, it's beat up. It's a little wavy, and there's a little curl on the spine. But these are, these are like key sick books. So like, so if you can get them at the right price, I didn't pay $50 each for them. I did all right. But if you can get them all day, like, and you know, like, you don't see these books every day. And, like, this is the tip of the iceberg. This guy has, like, amazing books. Like, granted, they're, they're not key issues, but, like, lower issues of, like, Showcase, Superboy. And, like I said, it's like, God, I want to buy everything just to be, like, as a comic book fan, you want to buy everything. But, like, being re realistic, like, I have to buy certain books. You know, you only have so much money, you know, you can't spend a fortune. But like, oh, two beautiful books. Next up, grab these two also. He also had 126, and I didn't grab it. I was sleeping. I forgot that was the first Thor. But anyway, I got, you know, Last Journey into Mystery, and I got First Appearance of Hercules. And I got a really good price from him, because, you know, if you buy in bulk, like I said, you know, he gives you, he you know, he's a fair guy, man. He gives you a good deal. But, you know, two key books, man, I've really wanted for a while, and now I got them. Moving on. I only got a couple more. I, I know, I'm going slow for Jimmy. I'm on Jimmy C-esque. I've been seeing this book on eBay, CGC'd. This is the first Martian Manhunter, Martian Manhunter in his own story, basically. It's like a quirky, cool cover, so it stands out. Like, the light blue and the weird alien. I didn't pay nowhere near what he asked. Because I bought a bunch of stuff. But, uh, you know what? I'm happy to have it. And it's, you know, it's pretty, this is a pretty high grade. Uh, I would say, I would say a 7.0. Uh, not that anything's ever going to come of it. But you know what? These are key books to have. If you're, if you're a freaking collector, these are books you just want to have. And like, you're happy. And if you got a high, the higher the grade, you know, the, the happier you are. So House of Mystery, number 143. I'm winding down. Okay, and then I saw this. I was so happy to get it. First Silver Age Grundy. Didn't pay a hun didn't pay a hundy for the Grundy. So you know Jimmy C's happy. Uh, beautiful, beautiful copy. There's just some uh, wear and tear right here, but other than that, it's pretty sharp all over. I didn't take it out and check out the back, but you know, fingers crossed. You'd hope it's good because it's you know. But you know, super excited to have this book. I love me some Grundy. All right, I don't know which one to go first. All right, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll throw these out first. Blam. I got these together. And you know what? 
you see the prices he has over there. Which, the prices are overinflated. So, like, I don't... You can't, like, scoff or, like, be like, oh, my God, he got that price. Because the prices are already too high. Anyway, first star Sapphire and Aquaman number two. Which, you know, everyone wants Aquaman number one. Everyone wants... The first Black Manta, yada yada. People are sleeping on number two. Granted, I saw it. Both of these are like high grade for, for their age. These are easy 7.0s. And anyway, long story short, because I bought a bunch of other stuff, like I said a hundred times to you guys. I got both of these books for 140 bucks together. So he gave me a great deal. But you know what? The guy's a good businessman. He sees guys who are serious collectors, and they're going to keep coming back to him like I did. And, you know, I dropped some coin with him uh, a week ago, two weeks ago at the, at the convention. So he invited me to his house. So, like, he knows I'm a serious player, you know. I'm not going to go there and, you know, light the menorah or bullshit with him. So, you know what? He's a smart guy, you know. I spent a chunk of change with him uh, two weeks ago. I spent a chunk of change with him. If he gives good deals, he knows I'm going to keep coming back. And, you know, you can't say that about everybody. There might be guys who come and hem and haw. So, like, you can't feel guilty or say, oh, my God, this guy is snowballing him. I'm not trying to get on my pulpit and preach to you guys. I'm just sorry. You know, I get excited, you know. I'm excited about the deals. And I just want to show, like, it's not like I put a gun to people's head when I do things. But anyway, let's get back to the joke. Beautiful copies. Look at these two books. I've wanted this book forever. I passed it up about four years ago for like 20 bucks and I kicked myself. And then once at a convention, I bought it, but I bought the wrong one because her second appearance is like so similar to this cover and I got mixed up. But anyway, last but not least, we were about to leave and I was like just looking at his books one last time and I got caught up in the hype and this is the one time Jimmy C paid retail. Because you know me, I don't pay retail. I, I get good deals or I don't get a deal at all. And I got snowed because, like, I see so many of you guys love this book. And, like, I thought it was, like, such a holy grail. You never see it. And I saw it. And I grabbed it. And look what he had. Blam. This book is perfect. Except there's a little discoloration right there. And there's about four, four ticks here. Other than that, it's mint. I would say it's a 9.0. And I got so excited, I paid a buck thirty for it. But meanwhile, I checked eBay, and this shit's going for like eighty to like one hundred and twenty dollars, which means I should have paid seventy five for it and walked away. But I paid one thirty for it because I didn't know and I didn't check. But you know what? You, you can't hit a home run every day, right? You know why? You know Hank Aaron. But anyway, you know what? I'm gonna fucking roll the dice, and I'm gonna get it graded, and pray for a nine point oh, and I'm set. Because I hear, you know, this is a hard book to find. And this is a very coveted book. But anyway, you know what? Overall, all the other stuff he gave me, I'm really happy. And, you know, my friend Georgie did a great, he had a great time. And I want to give a shout out to Greg for getting me that Star Wars book in L.A., especially from you guys. So I can hear a little feedback from you. Love you. Southern Cali Cabal. But anyway... I hope everyone's doing well. I'm going to a show on Sunday, so I don't. I, I made this video prematurely, but I knew this was going to run on. But anyway, have a great weekend. Jimmy C out.